thank you, Jesus, for your grace, your mercy, your favor upon my life. I am in your presence. Give me the grace to remain in your presence by your word and your spirit. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Shall we clap for Jesus? You may be seated. Romans chapter 5. Romans chapter 5, verse 5. The Bible says in verse 5, hope does not put us into shame because God's love has been put out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. Hope does not put us into shame. Because God's love has been put out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. First of all, we need to understand the word hope. If you define this one, where you put your hope, that is where your strength is. As long as you are not putting your hope in Jesus, what you are, you are hoping for, you may not see it. You can dream about it. As long as your hope is not in him, you may not see the fruit of your dream. Remember what I was saying last Sunday. I said peace is what we need. Peace is our capital. Listen to this. Let me finish this one. Because God's love has been put out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit. There is no way you can maintain your hope in Jesus without the Holy Spirit supporting what you are confessing. And the Holy Spirit is not outside, but inside your heart. Follow me. You see, at just the light time, when we were still powerless, Christ died for the ungodly. Let me read this one again. You see, at just the right time, when you were still powerless, Christ died for the ungodly. Meaning, there are people, let me just say this, there are people who are always condemning themselves, who are always saying, I'm a sinner. I'm useless. I am nothing. I can do nothing. And the Bible says that Jesus died for ungodly, meaning the sinners. And when you put your hope in him, no matter how bad you may think that you are, with Jesus inside you, Remember that one day you will see the light at the end of the tunnel. But if you keep on confessing negative things about your life without, you know, trusting Jesus that he is the only way, even if I did this, I am a drunker, I am a what? I smoke, I have done this and that. I am a humanizer. I am a prostitute. You are busy condemning yourself. You are making devil to sit on top of your destiny. Because there is no hope in someone who is confessing failure in life. It means you have become hopeless. 
You were powerless, a sinner, and Jesus chose to die at your place so that you become something at the end of the day. I'm trying to raise this foundation. Before you became to know Jesus, you were powerless, condemned. But Jesus chose to die in your place as a sinner so that he can take away that condemnation and replace it with a new life. And then you become now hopeful that there's God in heaven who considered me to be a human being created in his own image. This life that I'm living condemning me every day is the one, I mean, it's not the one who created me, but God Almighty. There you become hopeful. This is why the word, this, which says, hope does not put us to shame. If your hope is in Jesus, you never be disappointed. Romans 10 verse 11. Anyone that believes in Jesus shall never be put to shame. Don't put your hope in human beings' strength or the number of people who are surrounded you or who are supporting you. Put your hope in Jesus because he chose to die in your place as a sinner where others were rejecting you, condemning you, calling you all kinds of names. Jesus said, yes, I'll die in your place so that I can remove this condemnation and replace it with my life so that you become something in life. Is it HIV condemning you? Because you are carrying HIV in your body, then you are regretting? Put your hope in Jesus. The hope of life. Praise the Lord. I say put your hope in who? In Jesus. Money, you can buy food with money. You can buy clothes. Money is not our hope or our strength. Our hope is Jesus. Because even if you, you know you have got millions and millions of kwacha, more account, more vendala machine, one day shikapwa. Put your hope in him. You never go wrong. That unemployment situation, that barrenness, is not to destroy you. Anything that you are facing now is the ladder to Jesus. That problem you are facing is the one which can take you now to Jesus. So that Jesus can say, okay, give me your problem. Take my life full of joy, full of progress. But if you keep on complaining, why me, why this, why that? Jesus is there waiting for you. He said, why are you complaining? I am here a problem solver. I know that you have been rejected. Your family members, friends. You are not working. Poverty is all over. I am here. The one who knows how to end poverty. Come forward. Once you encounter the man Jesus... Before even you start seeing anything, the first thing that you receive is peace inside your heart. You become. The situation on the ground is bad. It's the symptoms of, you know, your, 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 your disease or your sickness is all over your body. But inside your heart, you are calm. You are peaceful. Because Jesus has already entered you. Hope in Jesus does not put you to shame. But hope in human beings can put you to shame. Man can disappoint you. Friend can disappoint you. Children can disappoint you. But Jesus cannot disappoint you. Are you there, people of God? I'm lashing because of time. There's something I want you to know. Uh, let's hope... Uh, you are getting something. Let me jump from uh, there to verse 9 so that we beat time. Since we have now been justified, we have been saved from God's love through, through him. Who is that person? Jesus Christ. 
No one can save your life. Some of you, what you have done, even you yourself, you know for sure that even God cannot forgive me. That is your thinking. What you have, no one knows the secret thing that you have done. But Jesus cannot condemn you the way you are condemning yourself. We have been justified through him. Who is that him? That is Jesus. Your wrong has been what? Justified. This is why Jesus came to die. So that this sin that you are carrying, this condemnation that you are carrying, can be removed and replaced it with a new life. This is why the Bible says that anyone who is in Christ Jesus is a new creation. 2 Corinthians 5.17 the old has gone and the new has what? Come. So stop condemning yourself. Listen to verse 10. I think there's something I want to pick. Yes, I, I didn't read it properly. Let me go back again. Since we have been justified by his blood, sorry, I jumped this word. How much more shall we be saved from the love of God? So what can justify you? It's not money. It's not flames. It is the forgiveness through the blood of Jesus. No wonder why Jesus said, unless you drink the blood of the son of man and the flesh, you have no life. Because there is no place where they can forgive your sins. It is only in the blood of Jesus. Are you there, people of God? I had a lot of things to share with you, but since I'm, I'm lashing, stop condemning yourself. Stop murmuring about what you are facing. Delay is not a denial if it is the will of God. As long as you know that you are not living, you know, the life of this world, stop condemning yourself. We grow spiritually through the relationship we keep every day. Things may not be according to your plan, but the plan of God is supreme over your life. Never you regret as long as you are in Jesus. Jesus came so that you live a joyfully and happily life. You can't find it anywhere. Education cannot give you a joyful life. Even promotion, once you are promoted, your enemies say, oh, it is time we kill this one. Instead of you enjoying your promotion, sickness, disease, problems all over, but with Jesus on your side, it's just a matter of time. Praise the Lord. Hope does not put us what? To shame. Your uncle is a human being. Oh, in dad. Oh, they are all human beings. Because Indosh Takwa Tulia, a manager, ni director, a minister, ni police, Indosh Tashpendes. Yalaku, oh, Narikwata, I am a Nivasha, Nivendana, AK for the okay. First, let me go and uh, destroy the one you are talking about. Let me, I'll, I'll, I'll come back to you. Before you know it, your uncle is no more. Who are you going to mention again? Hmm? Nani wala lumbula? Tuafuma kwa kaputa. Kai nomba wala wale lumbula wachashani? Baya. Put your hope in Jesus. Stop, you know, trusting human beings. Human beings cannot be trusted. They are unstable. They are like chameleon. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and what? He has never changed. No matter how bad you may think you are or people may, you know, say about you, he is there to make sure that, mm, come here, let me take your condemnation and give you my life. He is your hope. He is what? Your hope. So stop condemning yourself. Tell your neighbor, say, stop condemning yourself. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Uh -huh. Stop condemning yourself. Yes. You 
wale ilishanya nishukushafula tamule imita are you the manufacturer of children no take your time No ni sakamana limbi chupo chala pwa chala chitenge tacha pwe ichifuma kuri lesa tachona ika chitulenga fyo kuparami na kuri lesa so stop condemning yourself no abani bacha kolwa mshaba pali fyo bakachita they don't know that one day you will be a problem solver in your family fish bakachitaba ni ba malonda fyaba na ba malonda bala wina Oh, tamwa ishwa imwe. Malonda la chitashani. Alawina. So stop condemning yourself. You are not a failure. Jesus, your father, is not a failure. Put your trust and hope him. He cannot disappoint you. Thank you.